that gives you a roadmap to figuring out, are there only certain times that your child responds in this way? So that you can then address that. Welcome back everyone to the Parent Corner Channel. I'm Teresa Brown, the owner and founder of the Attachment Trauma Center in Houston, Texas. One question we get asked a lot by parents is, what can we do that would be a more positive discipline approach for our children? The most important factor I think we wanna consider is what's behind the behavior. Children don't choose to have behaviors that are going to make the adults around them upset and frustrated and yelling at them. So when you think about it, there must be something that's causing the behavior making us have this big feeling. So we wanna kinda of try to look back and see, is your child always having this issue in certain situations? I always recommend that parents kind of start journaling or keeping a record of when their child has their biggest emotions. That gives you a roadmap to figuring out, are there only certain times that your child responds in this way? So that you can then address that so that you can cut it off before it starts to happen. We wanna remember that children want to do better. They don't like to have the people around them that they care about upset with them. So we really wanna offer an opportunity to help them kind of describe to us what's going on for them. When you talk to children, when they're calmer about what happened, you'll get a better idea of what they may be responding to. Are they upset because of something that you would have not thought about? Lots of times parents are surprised when their children tell them what upset them. I think doing some detective work when the child is calmer, asking. So let's kind of figure out what was going on. Can you tell me what happened? Another important factor is your own child's personality. Is this a child who needs to have a break between doing certain activities before they can go on to another one because it's just too much? Is your child overstimulated by a lot of noises or, or loud um, sounds when you go somewhere or lots of people around them? Children are very different, even with the same biological parents. So always consider your child's unique personality. Do they have sensory processing challenges? Are they a highly sensitive child? All of these things make a difference in how you handle things for them. The biggest issue for discipline is consistency. Many parents admit to us that, well, when I'm tired or I'm stressed out or I've had a long day, I'm just gonna let them do things that I would not normally let them do. I get that. I'm a parent too, but the thing about it, when you do that over time, it's kind of like you go to work and this one boss, your boss responds in one way that day and the next day they respond in a totally different way. You get really confused about how you should handle your job and your projects and things that you have to take care of. Well, you're sort of the boss of your child, so you've got to have a consistent response and a consistent set of expectations so that the rules aren't changing constantly around them. That makes discipline very difficult for them and it's really not fair. One of the biggest factors we found for families struggling with discipline is in order to be able to work with a child and help them learn and help them feel like they are seen and heard and valued in their home is to have the connection before correction. That's a term that Dr. Karen Purvis uses and Dr. Cross at their TBRI program. If you are not connecting with your child first, then being able to do the correction with them is not gonna to seem to come from a place of trust or love or felt safety. So always be sure that you're really working on the connection for your child and that they feel safe with you and they understand that a lot of the things that you are asking of them is because this is what's best for them as a child. I think it's important to always change your approach as children get older. One thing parents don't realize is as your children get older, they're gonna to wanna to have more information about why some of the things are being asked of them or expected of them. You wanna provide an explanation that's age appropriate and that it doesn't have a whole lecture going behind it. They don't really look for that, but you want them to start to internalize the reasons behind the life skills that you're providing for them why it's important to treat people in a certain way with respect and those types of things. If we just tell children to do things because we said so, that's not the same as teaching them how to have the life skills they need. Discipline means to teach. So we always go back to what are we trying to do in the long run? We wanna help our child 
be able to grow up and be in the world and be a good citizen and a good human being for other people. Those are just a few of the ideas that we offer to our parents in our setting. We want to be sure that you get an opportunity to hear more. So please like and subscribe to our channel and you can hear more tips about parenting and helping your child in today's world. Thanks for joining us.